for informational purposes only. In doubt, consult your local professional. So this one here has a tired motor. And I'm surprised, this, is, this Kenmore is probably 20 years old, I would imagine, something like that. And we'll look at the wear in here. Not much wear. It all depends on how much you use them, of course. And uh, this here is not too bad. Pretty good. This is basically the front bearing bushing, F on bushing. We look in here, we got pretty good rollers. Here we got a nice, uh, what do they call this, back cowl, something like that. And what we have, and this is a good idler, we have a little bit of tightness in this motor. And what happens when we turn it on, it'll just hum. It'll just kind of, kind of grunt is what I call it. So when it grunts like that and does not lock up, if your motor locks up when you try and turn it on, then the winding is shorted. And I don't think there's anything you can do about it. If there is, please let me uh, know in the description or your comments. And so one thing that you want to test on the motor is the slop back and forth on the motor shaft. If there's slop back and forth on this motor shaft, there's not a lot you can do with the motors with slop in them uh, in my world. You can buy them on eBay for 40 or 50 bucks. This one here, we're just gonna basically lube. We're gonna take it out, lube the bushings, and I'll let you listen to it when I try and turn it on. Okay, let's try shutting the door. Definitely would not run with the door open. <coughs> Hear that loud noise? <coughs> That's the sound of a tired motor. And we're gonna try and bring, bring it back to life with a little bit of lube on that felt um, bushing area and then there's a, one in the back and we're going to try and lube that up. Okay, here's the bearing cap. Pull the bearing cap off on both sides. Lube inside there. I have a combination of tri-flow and zoom turbine oil. Both sides. And it's a lot freer now. It was a little bit tighter. It's going to bring a little bit more life into that. If you need any help, you... Okay, I took this back cowl off just to clean it out. A big clump of lint in here and we're gonna check the motor right now and see what it sounds like we got it on on door shut it still has a little bit of a grunt to it but it, it came on I can probably put some tension on it and see how it does under tension uh, usually when it starts to heat up then the oil starts to get in there and uh, loosen it up a little bit but let's put a little tension on it and see what it does it's still got a little bit of a rattle to it it's got a grunt to it I'm not sure how long this one's gonna last this combination of a dry bearing and a weak winding Contact me 707-443-8347 Pacific Time. I get phone uh, I get phone advice for $25. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.